This is the Savage Crucible Como of the Isles. I figure I was really looking forward to. Um, if you don't know what Savage Crucible is for the new people here, for the people who do know or just are waiting to see reviews, uh, this was a Kickstarter. Um, I paid for this about a year and a half ago almost, and they just shipped to me on Friday. This is my first time backing a Kickstarter, so I was expecting this to not be like a regular action figure. I don't know why. I was expecting it to be more fragile than it is, and it's it's actually pretty posable and playable, which is a plus for me. I love posable, playable figures. So this one is right up my alley. The sculpt, paint, and details on this figure are incredible. Like I'm pretty sure I put the video in a higher quality. I'm doing I'm doing 1080p 60 frames per second just so you can see the details on this figure because it's insane. Like, and I don't even think that's gonna do it justice. Let me try to zoom in. The details, the skin, the armor, everything is incredible on this figure. I don't even care about that paint rub. I know some people's gonna somebody's gonna care. I don't because I pose my figures. I play with my figures, but the detail is insane. There's there's a read up on the box for this guy. Like it tells you his origin. He's like the son of a prince and a handmaid and they ran away because he was a hybrid and they were going to kill him. They ended up killing his parents anyway. And he's like a mercenary now because he's just been out in the aisles for so long. Como of the aisles. He's been in the aisles so long. He's a mercenary. He doesn't know his origin. He doesn't know where he's come from. He doesn't know his lineage or anything. So. Um, hopefully there's a graphic novel I want to get. Hopefully it, um, explains his story. Cause I would love for him to have like a redemption, like him to go back and get his kingdom and all that shit. Unless they just make it to where he doesn't care, but he's like shunned because he doesn't look like anyone else. He looks humanoid in the face. So he has lips and shit. So a lot of people in the, in the realm don't fuck with him. The accessories include an open hand and a grippy hand and a grippy hand has the up and down hinge. You can see it right here. It has the up and down hinge, so that's a plus. I like that a lot. He comes with this dope ass, like great sword. Looks good. Another one I wish they would have done the black light. I don't know why this is not black light, like reflective. I'm gonna just paint this silver though, because I don't understand why it's orange, unless it's like a tooth to something, but I doubt it because it's metal. But this is great. Even the detail on the hilt is fucking it's amazing. This stuff is great. It's, the details are crazy. Here's an axe he has too. Like a spiky axe. I'm assuming this armor, weapons, and everything is from a monster he killed. Because he's a mercenary. He hunts things that look like him. But they don't care about him. So he doesn't care about killing them, which is crazy. But yeah, the axe is crazy. A lot of detail on there. And oh, he comes with this water pouch too. Water or liquid or ale or whatever it could be. I, I don't know. Details are crazy. Accessories are crazy. As you can see people's woes and worries are about standing he stands just fine um he poses really nice let's go over articulation the head is on a double ball peg and you can also probably go in there and shave some stuff out and make the range a little bit better but he can look up that far he can look down that far and he does get the tilt because it's a double ball peg this shoulder armor is just on a ball joint it's like a ball peg in the back of the shoulders. It's not a bad design. Same thing for the shoulders. The shoulders are pegged into the back of the arm, which is not a bad design at all. You see it swivels, so it gets out the way of the articulation. And it doesn't stay floating. See, it comes down with the arm, which is great. That's so nice to see. Because I one thing I don't like about Mythic Legions is how you, you move the arm up. And when you put it down, this armor will stay floating. That's one thing I do not like about that. Another thing I really like about this figure is the armor is it's not rigid, but it's also not soft. It's like in the middle of both. So it gets out of the way. So if I'm going to pose this guy, if I'm going to pose this guy, the armor is not going to get in the way. The, the, the tunic armor won't get in the way. Also, I forgot to talk about this tail. He has a posable tail. I don't mind it. Not really a big fan of tails on figures, but I don't mind this one. It's in the way. I just keep it down like that. But that also uh, gives a nod to his his like his ancestry, him being like half human. I don't want to say half human because he's he looks more lizard than human. So he's like 90 percent lizard, 10 percent human, I'm going to say. But he has a tail, too. And if you wanted to pose it, the armor doesn't get in the way. I really like that. Even the shoulder armor is not hard. 
it's soft, but you see it bounces back. That's a really nice touch to me because you can literally get this guy in any pose. Oh, I didn't even talk about the butterfly joint. This guy also has butter, really nice butterfly joints. They do pop out a little bit, but that doesn't bother me as much. I'd rather them overextend than underextend, if that makes sense. Like, I'd rather them do this than not be able to move much. I'm looking at fucking Marvel Legends on that one because they got butterfly joints that do nothing most of the time. But yeah, butterfly joints, soft armor, his figure's great. They seem to have worked out a really nice way of implementing armor, and I like it. And even the one on the Royal Guard is really nice, too. Coming to the arms, you get that far, about that far up. You will get a 360, and that shoulder armor will go with it. You do get a bicep swivel. Mine was a little stuck out the package, so if you get these, if you have some of these, please heat them up before you articulate them, just so you don't break your figures. There's a bicep swivel, but this is like a floating bicep. So my assumption is this uh, elbow plugs into the bicep up here and this just covers all that up. So this is a floating piece that'll turn with whenever you need it to turn. But you can turn them separately if that's something you want to do. Not sure why, but they do turn separately. You do get a elbow swivel. You do get a gauntlet swivel and you get a double jointed elbow, but it's blocked by the armor. So the armor can swivel out the way. It'll swivel whichever way you need it to. You do get the open hand, too. I talked about that, but it only has the up and down hinge, which I don't mind. That's not a bad piece of articulation. Coming to the torso is probably one of my favorite parts of articulation. The torso is a double ball peg, so it will get anywhere you need it to go. You go back that far, but you get some gappage. It goes forward that far at the top, which is really nice. And then also, if you include the bottom, it goes forward that far. One thing... That irritates me about a lot of companies is they put more back than forward, but this one has it going good both ways. So I like that. I like when figures go forward further than back because that's more natural. But I like that. I like that piece of articulation. And the bottom is also a double ball peg, so it'll go anywhere you need it to go. These hips are not hindered by the armor. They're not drop down hips, which is a plus in my book, but they do go up that far back about that far. Uh, double jointed knee pretty decent range the armor's gonna block it so it won't go too far like you won't kick his own ass this is just like this so this is a swivel right here you do get a thigh swivel as well i left that out you get a thigh swivel in there that's also on a ball joint so it'll swivel too you get like a lot of swivel in there these legs will go anywhere you need them to they go out that far better than a lot of spider-man figures and you get a swivel at the boot at the lower knee too the ankles too the ankles get their own swivel which is amazing for articulation up that far down that far and you get toe pivot so all in all these figures are really nice the details are impeccable i really hope this is something they can keep up with the line um i hope they can keep this level of quality throughout the rest of the figures because these are great these are really great figures. If you don't have one, get one and just see. Uh, my whole thing was, so they were selling slates, like basic figures with just like a tunic and I think a weapon maybe. And they were selling named characters like Como of the Isles and then they have the Royal Guard. They have a few other ones. But my thing was I wanted to get a named character in hand just to see like a full package. And that would determine if I was going to keep, you know, getting these and this figure being this good and the other one being as good as it is, uh, it makes me want to get more. Like I want to, there's already another one I want to order. So um, if you're on the fence about these, I hope this video helps because these figures are great. Um, I don't mind supporting small companies when they're doing good shit like this. This is amazing. I love this sword too. This is probably one of my favorite swords I have in my collection now. And one of my other favorite swords was Hercules sword from Marvel Legends, but this one like totally eclipses that let me see if i can find it i don't think so my son had it so it's probably gone lost in the abyss but this sword is is great like, i don't even use the axe with him i think he should have came with like a dagger or something versus an axe because this is nice him being a mercenary too i think a dagger somewhere and then uh, one thing i don't like is there's no storage for the sword that would have been nice it would have been nice to have like a sheath back here or something I tried to take one of the Royal Guard pouches. So this guy, I'm going to review this guy too, but quickly. 
he has like these pouches that store the swords on him, so he has them on his hips. I tried to take this hip one off and put put it right here, but this sword is just too big. So I think I'm gonna make something out of leather maybe and put it somewhere on him so he can have storage for a sword because that's one of the only things he needs. Um, I'm gonna try to find some kind of dagger too because I this guy needs a dagger. I didn't even see that hole right there. So he has, so I could put something right there. So I could probably put the water bottle over here and put the sheath over there. Over there. Put the sheath over there. So I'm gonna make something for him. But yeah, overall, this figure is gonna get a nine out of ten for me. I don't see the the little problems I have with it. Don't make this figure subtract. The fact that there's this much detail, this much paint work on this figure is great. And I like the blue. I like the hits of blue. I ain't even talk about the blue, but I like the hits of blue on him. He just looks like a badass. He looks like you don't want to fight him. But yeah, come on the Isle Savage Crucible. Uh, let me know in the comments if this is something you wanted or something you got. Hopefully I can sway you. They have some of these up on their website right now. Um, SavageCrucible.com. Check them out if you're looking for a figure. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.